Hello, Leo. I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about the latter half of February. Signs, we have Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, and water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio specifically. Scorpio doesn't have to be your person sign. It is energy we are looking at. The situation between the both of you right now, we have Nine of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse. Well, if there's been distance here, uh, separation, someone is wanting to come back around to the other. A lot of you, um, it is mutual energy, so you both may be feeling very empty, alone, without one another. There may be a level of neediness or codependency here uh, between the both of you. But strongest message I'm getting is that you both are wanting to reconcile. You've been feeling restless uh, since this no contact. At least I'm pretty sure this person is wanting to come back around to you. I, I have a lot of confirmation. So if you don't resonate with you wanting to revisit your past, then um, definitely this person is wanting to come together with you. They miss you, is what I'm seeing. You are past, though. Um, there is someone who is a bit codependent when it comes to you. How they're viewing you, we have Ten of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles upright. They're viewing you as someone who's dropping this and holding back. Why though? Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse, Devil, Ace of Pentacles. You felt that there was no stability here. You know your worth. <laughs> Look at you, Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, you're a perfect ten. And you know that some of you are very focused on saving your money and i see a lot of abundance when it comes to the bank account very positive omen here back to back so some of you may be emotionally closed off and focused on the more material and you're flourishing material it can be you know finances your job uh, your creativity but it can be your body here with the second house taurus so you may be working out, eating healthier, you're looking good, and you're feeling stable within yourself. And some of you, if you've been posting pictures, you've been working out, this person is seeing you, and they want you back. For some of you, look for our pentacles again. But yeah, you're keeping your cards close to your chest, you're coming through as a bit secretive, guarded, is how this person is perceiving you. How they're feeling about you, we have Ace of Wands, Devil, and Wrist, Justice, Upright. I'm getting two interpretations here. Some of you, this person's coming out of a divorce, a toxic uh, commitment, and you represent a new beginning for them. And in that case, uh, this seems very promising, very promising. I'd say one of the more positive readings, especially if you're um, dealing with someone who's getting out of another situation. And others of you, Ace of Wands, okay, regardless of your situation, there is a strong attraction right? This person has a lot of passion for you. They find you to be physically very much their type. So they definitely do want sex with you, right? I'll put it straightforward. Couldn't think of another word. So that is something they want. And Leo, I hope I wasn't calling you another sign, which I did last time, but I'm extremely sorry. Um, it was your reading, I was pretty sure, because it resonated a lot. Um, I knew that story was yours because it was very similar to the year reading I did for you, right? Anyways, I'm blabbering off. Ace of Wands. Some of you, this person had some toxic ways about them in the past and they're wanting to make things right with you, right? If you have a history with them, whatever they were doing, they seem to be reflecting, they're aware of their ways and they're trying to change. So I'm seeing someone who's genuinely um, wanting to make things right with you. They're wanting to do the right thing. And a lot of you, they're wanting reconciliation. Few of you, the only reason this person could have been holding back from you is because of a third party, and they're trying to be fair to everyone involved, but I'm not getting a strong third party situation in this reading, which I have been getting for the water signs actually, that I filmed before you. This person's intentions towards you, we have Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Actions they're taking towards you, Six of Cups, the star. Um, two sixes coming through back to back. Is Sixes do talk about harmony, partnership, balance. So this person's intentions is to love you. They're genuine when it comes to their interest in you. They really care about you. 
your well-being, and they're wanting to invest in you. Six of Pentacles. They're wanting to be generous with you. Some of you take you out, but they're definitely wanting to see you again. So their intentions are not bad, Leo. They're coming from a good space. Really nice energy. Nice, kind, generous. Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, right? But they're wanting equality. They're wanting that equal give and take between the both of you. What action they'll be taking towards you? We have Six of Cups, the star. They'll be very generous with you. Um, some of you, they're wanting you to, wanting to take you out for a drink, date, dinner. Because the star is the wish fulfillment. It's also Aquarius, 11th house, right? Can be dating, putting yourself out there. And they feel a strong soulmate connection with you or just a strong emotional bond with you. Some of them may even want children with you because Queen of Cups is pregnant. But pregnancy or not, they do want growth, right? They want to see things move forward between the both of you. And they will be, if you know this person, they're wanting to reconcile. Some of you, it can be through the internet, social media, star rules, technology as well, Aquarius, right? I don't think I need to uh, clarify your cards. They're pretty straightforward. So it's someone who's wanting to see you, date you, reconcile. They don't want to be apart from you. I might get one card for the star. Yeah, they're coming in. Some of you Aquarius energy. Um, they'll be sending you a message. And some of you, that message will be through social media online or a text message. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> some of you, yeah, they may want to have some passion with you. It's very exciting, especially if it's a new energy. Look at that. And we have the devil in reverse again. So yeah, this person may have not been the most stable or they weren't committing they weren't bringing you anything substantial i'm not sure i don't see i see six of pentacles but i don't see a solid uh, commitment coming through in the cards right now but there is potential here right and this person is charging towards you how you're feeling we have five of cups in reverse three of cups upright i can interpret this in two ways you're healing right um some of you from a breakup some disappointment and you may be putting yourself out there. You're dating and you're getting to know someone new here um, who is amazing. If you're getting to know someone new online specifically, thumbs up. But always listen to your intuition, right? It is a general reading. Very positive period to put yourself out there. Date. You will be attracting a lot of attention and specifically one energy that will really have their eye on you and they'll be wanting to get to know you better, build with you. Those of you you're dealing with the past person that you're thinking about, yeah, I think you want to reconcile here as well, right? And they did as well, so that is mutual. So this person coming back around, sending you a message, has you feeling very happy, and you're in celebration mode. Some of you will be going out for drinks with this person. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse for how Leo will be feeling? Clarify five of cups in reverse. Drinks, dating, feeling happy. Some of you, you've been in a heavier energy. Um, you're getting out of, you're coming out of your shell. It's lighthearted, playful. Definitely see you going out for drinks, celebrating with family, friends your dating life is amazing you're just being you're letting your hair down and you're living life i love your energy so much fun to be around and i see people wanting to be in your presence here as well your energy is contagious you represent a good time to those around you it's almost like whatever room you walk into you light up you bring a lot of fun, joy, laughter wherever you go. Very warm energy, Leo. So keep going. Why is Three of Cups here? Let's get one for the Three of Cups. Strength. It's interesting, because strength is also Leo, which rules our fifth house of dating. Why is Three of Cups here? For how Leo will be feeling?
Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Some of you, there may be a celebration within the family, some good news. But others of you, it's reconciliation with this person. Definitely see that. Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You'll be feeling very happy. The latter half of February, something to celebrate. Your outcome, we have Page of Wands in reverse, King of Cups upright. I don't see you initiating with the Page of Wands in reverse, regardless of if you have feelings for this person or not, right? Because King of Cups is not the most action-oriented or expressive energy. There's a lot of love you have, and you're a very compassionate, kind person, but I don't see you initiating. Let's clarify. Why is Page of Wands in reverse? <laughs> Page of Wands upright. Perhaps in the past you felt you were the one initiating. Or there is someone here was running hot and cold. Which is why you pulled back your energy. You're not as giving as you once were. And that is why this person was seeing you as dropping the situation and holding back. Why is King of Cups here? Some of you may turn down. I mean... <laughs> This won't be for everyone. For you of you, it can be that you're happy um, to see this person wanting to come back around to you, but you may not respond. That'll be for a few of you. Why is King of Cups here for Leo's outcome? You know what's interesting, Leo? In the King of Cups, he's holding a cup. Nine of Cups, he's holding a cup. Three of Cups, they're holding cups. Right? Uh, drinks. If you drink... And three of cups again, wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor when it comes to your dating life, your love life. Why is king of cups your empress? And a lot of this is because you knowing your worth and a lot of uh, financial freedom, financial success. Ooh, some of you may be traveling a vacation. You have the means to do so or you will. Because I'm getting a very carefree, lighthearted energy from you for the latter half of February. So there may be some positive news, um, which was there was delays here in terms of your career as well. So it'll be different for each one of you, but definitely um, you're feeling very good about yourself. You're feeling very attractive. A lot of you may be, you know, dressing up and attending some sort of gathering or just being more available and open to new possibilities with the King of Cups. It's a receptive energy. This person's outcome, Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Single and frustrated. Let's see, I don't know what they're doing. They're coming through as someone who's single, independent, enjoying themselves as well. You're both in the Nines energy. Which is beautiful because I see the transformation, especially if you're dealing with the past person. I was picking up on some codependency. It's almost you both, there may have been some distance and you've been working on yourself and regaining your confidence, your independence. So that separation was needed, right? Why is five of wands? Whoa. Why is five of wands here for this person's outcome? World in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person was doing something sneaky. I don't know what they were doing. Um, they may have been gossiping. There may have been drama surrounding the situation, perhaps interference from other people. And they're wanting to make things right, is what I was getting. They're saying I've changed. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they don't want to juggle anymore. They don't want to be sneaky. You're the one they want to give to. Six of Pentacles. Why is Nine of Pentacles here? Star. Aquarius energy. I'm not... I have to be honest with you, uh, Leo. In the outcome, I'm seeing a very single, independent energy. I'm not seeing someone who's committing. I don't see solid commitment. I do see this person coming back towards you, sending you a message. But things are sort of up in the air here, moving forward. This person seems to be a little... Yeah, wow. Hermit, Four of Cups. They're healing from some... I don't know if they were depressed or they were going... They are just feeling very low. 
So they do seem to be recovering from something. Some of you, it can be financial freedom, especially if they were tied to another situation. I did mention um, someone coming out of a divorce. So they, that situation may have drained them financially as well. So they're rebuilding themselves and they're healing, which is beautiful. So they may be going through an ugly divorce here, five of wands. So you'll have to be patient with them if that is the case. mental prison coming through in their energy overthinking creating scenarios thinking of you a lot yeah this person you've been weighing heavy on their mind Ooh, are some of you going on vacation with this person we have adventure getaway travel break time off some of you this person may be wanting to plan uh, to travel towards you as well but yeah this may be if it, it can be an aquarius because we do have a lot of aquarius coming through but regardless it can be someone who's a bit of an overthinker um and they were having a hard time making a decision a very cautious approach creating scenarios can be worst case scenarios what can go wrong what did go wrong right some of you, I was seeing plastic, so this person was having a hard time trusting this connection if you were being real with them, right? Wow, we have mental prison and cursed. String of bad relationships, karmic cycle, the evil eye. Ooh. Yeah, focused on work, working hard. I can't talk. Focused on work, working hard, and long hours. Love at work. Some of you may meet someone through work or you met this person through work. We did have pentacles. I was telling you that both of you were working on yourselves. But definitely this person could be working hard and long hours. So work, work, work. But you definitely see that with mental prison, overthinking, creating scenarios, this person may feel they're cursed. And we also have X in the background. String of bad relationships, this person's scarred from their experiences. They've been stuck in a karmic cycle. They've been evolving. They're trying to break free from the chains of the devil, whatever this mental prison was. Some of you, it can be someone who was drinking they had some addictions, they weren't seeing you clearly because of, right, whatever they were doing, overindulgence of some kind. And they're waking up now to this connection. That'll be for some of you. But definitely, if you're dealing with someone who has children, they're dealing with some ex, that seems to have taken, yeah, a toll on them. And they may feel that their ex is cursing them or doing spells on them or something casting the evil eye over them and their relationship it's paranoid energy let's take one more from this deck single yeah that is how they're ending the reading as well we have available currently no other partner open to dating we like that so if you're getting to know someone new or even someone from your past um in the outcome i do see someone who's single and ready to mingle they're open to dating so it may be that there's communication back and forth between you and this person and a few of you this can be a brand new energy that will be entering as well um, especially if you are putting yourself out there you're actively dating definitely and it, this is sort of telling me a little bit about their past energy right this person will be very communicative with you and they're physically very attracted to you as well. Happiness coming your way. Finding happiness, happy ending, feeling blessed and grateful. Yes, I was telling you there's something that you're celebrating. For your advice, we have treasure. <laughs> An unexpected windfall will soon be yours. You will feel you have it all. A very auspicious time. So that may be the drinks in the air that I was getting. 
I'm not sure what this treasure is. I think it will be different for each one of you, but something amazing is happening for you. And what's interesting is in the Four of Pentacles, which is representing your energy, it came through twice. He's sitting on a treasure chest. I'm not sure what is happening here. Some of you, this definitely can be financial abundance. Um, it can be a gift, a present, a new relationship, a reconciliation with a past person. What have you been manifesting? We have it's not over. Don't turn your back on love. Love isn't easy, not for anyone. You can't push it away because there's a few bad apples. Keep fighting. Yeah, I don't see you closed off to love. You're very much open, King of Cups. I do see that. Be careful that you're not all about work, that you're missing out on opportunities. Um, that can be an issue with the King of Pentacles in reverse. But this tells me there's something headed your way, right? They're saying don't turn your back on love. So you have been through some difficult experiences, bad apples. Look at that. Twice. Twice, Leo. I'm telling you. Happy times, happiness, two different decks. This is what you're entering, a happier cycle. You're entering a happier cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time. You've had enough lessons. I'm not sure what is happening. We have treasure, happy times, happiness. Some of you, um, if you remember, um, please do come back and let me know what happened. Um, but it almost seems like a wish come true. Let me pull out my astrological deck and see if I can give you a little bit of clarity in terms of where this is hitting you. But a lot of you, I feel it's different. It'll hit you differently. Can you please clarify happy times? What is this coming through for Leo's? Yeah, this has to do, oh, okay. It'll be, <laughs> some of you, it's a glow up, a transformation when it comes to your health, your body. So if you've been uh, struggling when it comes to your health, physical, mental, emotional, uh, expect improvements there. The hard work you've been putting into your body, you'll be seeing the outward results. You're feeling very confident within yourself. Second house also rules our self-worth right? It also rules the bank account, our finances. So yes, feeling more confident within your body, um, financial freedom, financial success. And Taurus is also Venus, which is relationships, right? But a lot of you, if you've been working out because we have ascendant rules, our physical appearance, the way we express ourselves outwardly, and we have the bombshell. So yeah, probably getting a lot of compliments in terms of your physical appearance. People noticing you, your glow up. You owning things, material assets, right? With second house as well. So it's getting, yeah, Chiron is healing. And second house again. Second house is where these blessings are hitting you. Some of you may be meeting someone through work here as well. But second house is also Venus, love, partnerships. So really depends. But whatever it is, you're on the right path. You're headed into a lot of prosperity. So keep going. And a lot of pleasure. I'm getting, it can be good food, wine. I was getting alcohol, right? Um, <laughs> enjoying yourself, being more lighthearted. But it can be buying things. It can be a big purchase, a home, a car, right? If that is what you've been um, manifesting that is coming towards you as well beautiful I don't have anything else to say it's one of the most positive readings happy times happiness treasure an unexpected windfall you will have it all a positive healthy relationship with yourself with another person right you will have it all so it's finances your love life and you being very confident with who you are and who you're becoming and where you're headed. Beautiful. But yes, Leo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.